Um, my name is Dr. Kim Price, and I get to be the assistant principal at Highlands High School. I'm usually in charge of ninth and 10th graders, um, but I also get in charge of a whole bunch of things, like the spirit program. Um, in the fall, we had an incident where a student brought in um, a hunting license, which was, it had a racial slur on it. It said, I'm, you know, pretty much African-American hunting license. When we saw this, we were floored. We had already had town meetings where we were talking to people in the community about how we could connect the school with our community, but we had no idea that we had this kind of racial tension going on. Came up with some ideas, um, but we didn't feel like we'd really gotten enough of a kid's voice. So when um, we heard about the spirit program, we thought, okay, this is a way that we can get our kids talking so we can figure out what our kids see. Because if we're gonna improve this school, we have to do it everybody. So the spirit program came in, and our kids said, hey, we are seeing some problems. And in identifying these problems, we're seeing that the school's divided. Um, the parking lot is very fast. Um, we know that there are a lot of drugs that people are dealing with in our community. So the, the students wrote down all of their concerns, and then they came back together, all 40 kids, and they took a colored dot, and they said, you know what? That's a problem I see. The thing that I love about this is our students are starting to come up with the solutions. Put yourself in the other person's shoes. That's common sense, but for our kids to say that we need to do this, that's what we need. Because school, like I want a high school where everybody can be friends, everybody can talk without judging people on their color. Because if you make a joke about a black person, or either way, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a direct hurt or somebody, like, somebody can still be offended by it. And I, that's the biggest problem, like people don't understand that, like they just say it to be funny and not knowing that it can hurt somebody. Each time that we get together and we talk about stuff, we come up with solutions to make the school better and how we can work on the situation. I feel like as, while we're a more diverse group, we get a lot of different ideas and uh, I feel like a lot of it, whether it's just uh, being addressed by the staff, it feels like a lot of it gets kind of swept under the rug. And I feel like kind of we know what's best for us. Uh, just because we're being put through like uh, certain things that they might think help and we see a lot of the issues that they don't. So uh, I feel like the stuff that we implement might be a little bit more useful. If you're talking to your peers, like, they understand where you're coming from and what's really going on. It's harder to talk to um, a teacher or a principal or an adult in general about it because they kind of forgot what that was like and it's different times and everything. So I think it'll help a lot of things, uh, like the bullying in the school, the racial issues in the school, um, the separation in the school, stuff like that. So in all of this, we're listening to the students and we're creating a program where we can have them tell us what's going to help them. And then we're going to create the resources to make it happen.